Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning. Good to be with you today. Hope everyone is doing well. Hey, thank you for praying for Susan as she is continuing to, to get better. Uh, uh, she's on some different medicine, and uh, we hope and pray uh, that uh, those things will work. But uh, please continue to pray. As you notice, I'm back in the office today. Uh, and so praise the Lord. And, and so, uh, but I just want to say thank you so much for praying, okay? All right. Well, let's get started with our devotion today. Proverbs chapter 18. Notice if you would with me in verse number 12. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. Obviously, we find that uh, Proverbs here is, is looking at the heart of mankind. And uh, I tell you, uh, I believe probably one of the greatest battles that we face is not so much outwardly, but, but inwardly. And, and yours and my heart and our desires and all of those things. And uh, I tell you, I think if you can conquer uh, your heart as far as by the grace of God, overcome the, 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 the temptations and the battles that, you know, if you can defeat them here in your own heart, then it won't get out there and you won't make, uh, you know, terrible decisions because you've already battled those issues inside and it, it, it never got out here. And so, uh, I tell you, I think that is so critical as a child, as, as a child of God, as you walk through this life. And uh, I tell you, you know, people don't do stupid things out there, uh, and you know, for, unless first, you know, they're thinking about it in their heart, and and it's going through their mind, and all of those things. Would it would be so much better if we would deal with it inside our hearts, inside our minds, and uh, because I tell you, uh, that is so much easier, and that uh, uh, the uh, the effects of it is so less when we deal with it that way. Well, here we find the writer is talking about the destruction of man. And I tell you, that should get our attention, shouldn't it? Uh, you know, we, we don't, we don't want to be destroyed. We don't want to be ruined. And, and, uh, but Solomon here gives us a warning. And he says, and he says it like this, before destruction... Before destruction, wouldn't it be great if we could know before it's going to happen? Maybe we could avoid it. And so it says, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And so that's a clue, isn't it? May you and I be careful that we are very much aware of our heart. And, and when our heart is lifted up in pride, when, when you and I think that we're better than we really are and, and things such as that, and, oh, I've got this, and, and our, our hearts are haughty, it is lifted up. It, we think more of ourselves than we ought to. The Bible says that before destruction happens, our heart is like this. It's in that condition. And I tell you, but the Bible goes on and says, and listen carefully, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor, and we like honor, don't we? Boy, I tell you, we do. We love, we love uh, to, to be uh, honored. We, we like that part of, of being, uh, if I may put it like this, complimented and, and uh, you know, um, uh, prized or, or uh, congratulated, uh, you know, made known, you know, for things that we've done good. Uh, and so we we have received honor. Well, the Bible says, and before honor, and we like honor, we like we like that very much. But he says before honor, before someone receives honor, and we like it though. We like honor. We want honor. But before honor comes, there's something else that that comes before it, and the Bible says, before honor is humility. You see, that's a matter of the heart. In other words, it is a, it is a position of, of uh, not thinking, uh, you know, highly of yourself. Uh, in other words, it is a, uh, a submissive heart. It is a heart that is uh, uh, 
well humbled. It is a heart that is, uh, uh, you know, it knows where it, it belongs. It, it knows that uh, it's only by the grace of God. You know, it's that kind of heart. But, but before that heart is honored, there is humility. And I tell you, that is the way that you and I ought to live. You and I ought to go through this life understanding that that boy it's 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 but by the grace of God that we are who we are and and yet sadly enough, the temptation is we can think boy we're really something else and 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 to the point that that we begin to act that out and we we may begin to think that we're a lot better than what we really are and hey i i deserve this and and all that well the bible says that that type of heart uh, a, a proud heart uh is a haughty heart heart uh you know destruction's coming it really is but on the other hand when that when a heart is honored when a heart is is uh, is congratulated, when a heart is is acknowledged for its good deeds, well, before that comes, that heart is humbled, that heart is is full of humility, that heart uh, is in a position where uh, it recognizes uh, that you know I don't deserve this, uh, I'm not as great as I, uh, but apparently. That heart is a heart that, that can be honored. Now think about it, folks. May you and I desire humility. May you and I understand our position and where we are at in relationship to life. And, and that, that, you know, and I love life. I tell you, I love what God's given us, but I understand this. It's only by the grace of God I am who I am. And, and, and I believe it is because of him. If there's anyone that, that I ought to thank, if there's anyone that I ought to uh, attribute the success that maybe I might have or the abilities that I might have, it's not me, but it's the Lord. And so I give God credit. I give God the glory for it. But you know what? I'm, I'm so thankful that I, you know, I can do what I can do. I'm so very thankful that I can, you know, be who I am, but by the grace of God. But that comes through humbling and, 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 and giving myself over to him because I know he knows what's best. And so I tell you, may that affect our lives and uh, praise the Lord for today. Thank God for his word. Thank God for what he has done in our lives. It's not us, but it's him in us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Praise the Lord for that. So I hope and pray that it's not destruction, but that it's honor that you receive. Not destruction, because we know what comes before destruction, don't we? But we also know what comes before honor. May we desire that. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the word of God today. Thank you, Lord, for the challenge. Lord, help us to be aware. Help us not to live our lives how we want to. But Lord, may we submit ourselves to you, understanding we need you, we desire you by your grace and mercy. Bless us today, I pray in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope and pray it might be a, this was a blessing to you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.